Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm looking at the X5 U3 wireless system. So you may be familiar with this one. This is the X5 U2 system for guitar or instruments that have a jack input like this. Can you see that? These are pretty well regarded. Um, I love it. It's one of my favorite systems in this kind of form factor with the two bugs like this. I call them bugs. They look like big bugs, right? And um, it just has a, it has an issue with active pickups uh, making some some noise. But apart from that, with a guitar that's compatible, these are excellent. Probably probably my favorite system. So off the back of this system, X5 have developed this one. This is now the U3. So if you look at it. It's kind of similar, but this is for XLR cables and inputs and microphones, which is really exciting because um, a lot of people are making these um, uh, guitar systems, instrument systems for wireless budget price kind of um, uh, things. But I haven't seen many that make a microphone system. And until recently, like uh, playing at a wedding or something and, and someone wants to give a speech and you want it to be wireless for them to walk around the room, I've considered buying a, a, a wireless mic and a Shure system, but you're looking at around $1,000. So I didn't feel it was worth it for that application. But now with this being under $200, and you can leave it in your gig bag and use it with any microphone or speaker system, which we'll get to later, this is a, is a very good, uh, good idea. And I've been testing it out as usual. I've played several shows. I do work and live in Manhattan. And no, I don't live in Manhattan, but <laughs> I work a lot in Manhattan where there's a lot of wireless systems. Radios, um, these work on 2.4 wireless like the other, the um, U2 system. And you get wireless and Wi-Fi everywhere and you get breakups from so many of these systems. The reason I like the U2 is that I haven't had any dropouts from it. And this one is the same, no dropouts as yet. So I'm very impressed because if it works in, in New York City, it's probably going to work anywhere. So that's a great plus. So let me show it to you. Um, this is the part that plugs into your microphone. And it's very simple. Um, you charge it on the side and it has f uh, five, no, six available channels, which you can select, select from. I have had an issue with a certain channel. Like I think it was one and then another wireless system. So I changed the channel and it fixed it. So make sure you try that if there's any issues. A power button and a mute button. So that will uh, enable you to mute your mic as well. Some people really like that idea. So you can mute it while you speak to the band about what you're gonna play next. And then unmute it, hopefully unmute it to sing again. And it's got mic or line level. So this is cool because I once played a show years ago and they asked me, can you have another speaker in another room so our friends can hear you at a low volume? And I said back then, well, not really. You'd have to run a long cable or buy a specialist speaker. You know, I don't know if they exist and I don't think they do. Now I realize with this, I could plug this into the send of my mixer into another like an S1 Pro battery powered speaker in another room or down the room and have the sound spread out. So that's another application for this. And if you look on YouTube, a lot of people have other applications too. They're micing pianos, um, other instruments and anything with the XLR you can use this with as it's got the mic and the line level, which is really cool. So this part is labeled the transmitter. This is what goes into your mic or whatever you're going to send from. The receiver is here. We just unplug it. I have it turned on. The receiver is even more simple, just the power button. Turn that on. Okay, we're on channel six. I found that was good for me um, with my Bose S1 because that also has a Bluetooth in it as well. So I had a, a problem on channel one. I changed to six, no problems. Excellent. So I left it on six. As always, always read the manual, okay? The charging, the battery life is excellent. Um, and the charging is a USB, which they give you. They actually give you one of their cool cables, which is a USB cable for your computer or, or charger, which then goes to two um, mini USB cables. So from the one outlet, you can charge both of them at the same time. So just leave that plugged in overnight, wake up and it's ready to go. That comes with it. You also get this really cool pouch, which I like. X5 pouch to carry it around in. I don't think the guitar cup one comes with that. I wish, I wish they would include it. I might be wrong, but um, if you're listening, please include that because it's really nice to protect your investment. I love that. All very good quality. I mean, for under 200 bucks, um, some of these systems at around 100, 150 can be kind of cheap feeling. This feels really sturdy. feels great. Um, no problem with it. I want, to hear, I want to hear how it sounds though. I've had no issues with how it sounds at all, but I want to give you a little demo for what it's worth. 
This is the mic I use live, it's a Sennheiser. It's an E935, I love this mic. I plugged it straight in with a Megami cable, excellent cable, some of the best you can get. Straight into the interface, um, the gain is about one o'clock. And I'm gonna turn this mic off and talk into this and uh, different volumes so you can get a feel for what this mic sounds like. As usual, I'll put um, timestamps in my description so you can flick between the mic wired and wireless. So look, watch out for those at the end of the video. But let's have a listen to this for now. I'll turn this main microphone off here. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is right up close, um, lips touching the microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is away from the microphone. You hear that proximity effect. There's less bass now, and there's more bass now. This is me talking quietly, and this is me talking loudly. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I'm gonna unplug this, and I'm gonna plug in with the wireless system. Um, a different channel, but same settings, exactly the same settings, same gain, same everything, okay? So I'll do that right now, here we go. Okay, so all I had to do was just to plow that on. Now I'm talking close again, talking close into the mic, lips are touching. How I like to sing to resist feedback and get a nice warm tone. And this is talking away from the mic. This is talking away from the microphone, so you reduce that bass um, uh, if you want to sing loudly. And this is me talking softly, very softly, one, two, three. And this is me talking loudly, so you hear if there's any distortion or anything. That was just my mouth there. One, two, one, two, yes, yes, one, two. And as you can hear, there's no dropouts. There's uh, several wireless devices around here. If you look at my phone and check the local area, there's a ton of wireless systems and I've, I've got no dropouts, which I do have here with a lot of systems in this, in this room. So very impressive. One, two, testing, one, two, three. Now I want you to A, B between these with a the timestamp. I feel like, for me, this might be slightly brighter, which I actually like, but I'm not sure. I might be wrong, but I hear no hiss in my headphones and it's very clean and it's, it's perfectly usable. Okay, so I'm going to switch back to the main microphone now. One, two, one, two, over and out. Okay, I'm back again on the Neumann. Actually, it sounds a bit more um, boomy, doesn't it? This, this was a nice um, a microphone to speak into. So I've got the mute button and the power button. I've turned that off. Now, you do have to turn it off, otherwise the battery will die. So be aware of that. Now, I mean, what do I like about it? It's reasonably priced. It's, uh, it works <laughs> with a wireless system. If it works, it works. I always say, always have a cable with you. Don't record. I mean, okay, you can record, but there's always a chance, even the best, wire, even the most professional wireless system that's used on a huge stage, stage can drop out and have problems. So always have a cable. Don't just take this with no cable. Always have a cable in case there's a certain router or something in the room that's interfering. You don't want that to happen to you. Okay, that could be a disaster. So it's really cool. It does work, but always have that cable with you. Um, I recommend Megami cables, lifetime guarantee. They're excellent. I love those cables. Um, I don't like that it adds bulk. And when you're holding it, it kind of lights up. So you've got this light on. But, you know, I mean, you might like that. It looks kind of futuristic, kind of cool, right? Easy to, to hold. Also, you can't put it into a microphone stand with that on. You have to detach it because the clip, or well, my clips, are not obviously too small for this to go through. But what, the plus side of that is when you put it in the mic stand and plug this in, you can't, it won't come away from it. So uh, someone that wants to guest sing at your performance cannot come and grab your mic off the stand. It's all kind of attached into one stand. That's actually a good thing. Um, yeah, I'm very impressed. I love it. I highly recommend it. I recommend it. I don't, I mean, I don't use it all the time because I often sing with a cable in there, but I always have this in my gig bag. So if someone needs to make a speech or something, I just give this to them on a spare microphone. As you know, I don't lend my microphone because I you know, don't believe in sharing microphones, but I plug it into a spare mic and I give them the mic. They can do whatever they want. It sounds great. And one day someone's going to say, can you put your speaker further away than you can have the cable? And I'll just use this. This is an incredible tool to have with you at all times. So have it. I will, the one thing to mention, though, it, it, it will not work with a condenser mic. It doesn't power a microphone. And headset mics are usually condenser, so it won't power that. Unfortunately, if it did, that'd be amazing because you would you could have a wireless headset. Doesn't work like that. It works with um, dynamic microphones. Okay, 
Let's take a quick look at the website over here x5audio.com 2.4 gigahertz as I said works with dynamic microphones and battery power yeah battery powered condenser mic so if you if your condenser mic has a battery in it it will work obviously because the battery is there to power it but it just won't power the mic less than five milliseconds latency excellent you can use it with other mics and systems of course up to six, there's six channels so you can find the channel that you need so always search those channels when you first get it to find the correct one with no interference um, broad frequency response, as we heard, five hours of battery life. So that's good for about one or two gigs. That's, that's fine. That's really good. For the size of it, it's incredible. Up to 90 feet. Always try and have it like line of sight from the transmitter to receiver. Don't block it with anything. And obviously be aware that as you move further and further away, there's more chance of it dropping out. But um, just for walking around a stage, it's, it's perfect. And, and even into an audience. You know? But try, try not to put a wall between it if you can help it, because you might drop out. The signal to, to noise ratio, I thought that was excellent. I can't hear any hiss. You might, you might, um, you might load that file into uh, Logic and disagree with me, but I can't hear any hiss there. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's some extra videos here. One of my buddy, Glenn. Check that out. Subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to mine. Um, lots of information there because this, this was a fairly new product, but um, it's been out for a while now. Lots of information. You can see these pictures here. There's, they're actually using it for a camera. So, so it's, yeah, it's so versatile. It's excellent. And here's the speaker system I mentioned, one into the other. Awesome. And if you want to buy one, like I said, it says $199. I'll just check that on Sweetwater. Yep, $199. Or give them a call, see if they'll give you a little discount. And Amazon have it as well. The Sweetwater are great. Um, I always shop with those guys if I can. And, and a good thing to check is their reviews. All excellent reviews. So what can I say? It's a winner. Um, I look forward to more X5 products. And I really hope they update the guitar system soon so it works with my, with my active pickups. Because then I can have... The guitar wireless, the mic wireless, the Bose S1 um, battery powered amp wireless, and I can be completely wireless. Again, don't always recommend that, but for something like a, a party or an event where they don't want you to show cables, or if you want to go busking or something, or playing in the subway, you can be completely free and completely wireless. So yeah, really highly recommended. Um, can't say enough good things about it. Check it out, buy one. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.